a tragic case of mistaken identity is the explanation given as to why Los Angeles police officers fired 100 rounds at two unarmed women delivering newspapers. Neighbors are still shocked and frustrated. We got a bullet in her right here into the upstairs bedroom, also caused by the LAPD. Roland Bellacow says his neighborhood has always been peaceful until the LAPD showed up. He's still waiting for the city to pay for the damage to his home. Bellacow's also astonished at the reckless gunfire that continues to mark his street. Their whole uh, idea of their training is supposed to be all on, uh, based on the law and not emotional reaction, and they totally went against that whole training. 71-year-old Emma Hernandez is still recovering from two gunshot wounds she suffered while trying to shield her daughter Margie. Attorney Glenn Jonas says that the women are still fearful for their lives. They have a difficult time grappling with the fact that the police essentially tried to execute them. This is the quiet neighborhood where officers shot at Amy Hernandez and Margie Carranza. Right next to this elementary school is this neighborhood where several homes are still riddled with bullet holes. Shooting no way is going to be justified. If it is, all hell's going to break loose. All hell broke loose 20 years ago after the Rodney King trial. But many believe violence that permeated the LAPD decades ago has been exposed once again. This is a uh, police department that really is uh, a model of a paramilitary organization when it comes to urban neighborhoods, especially of uh, people of color. In 2011, law enforcement in Los Angeles County shot and killed 54 people. That is 70 percent higher than the previous year. Every time it happened, it's justified on their end. Kenny McDade's son Kendrick was unarmed when he was shot and killed by police. Why would they stop doing it if they know it's going to be justified? They're getting paid to do it. You can put on administrative leave. Because of legal protections for police officers involved in shootings, we may never be allowed to see the names or the testimony from officers who shot grandmother Emma Hernandez. We do not trust the LAPD. We do not believe that any investigation initiated by the police is going to uh, come up with any uh, tangible results. We do not believe that Bonnie can investigate Clive. Now the question remains, if the officers who shot at civilians will be held accountable for their violent deed. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT.